Hi, this is Doogie and welcome to the Advanced Waypoint Tutorial. As you may already notice, the golden arrow is the waypoint for our guide and it will always point towards the green dot on your map. You can left click on the arrow and move it to any position you want. For this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it in the middle of the screen so you can easily see it. You can right click on the arrow to open the menu and select remove waypoint and this will remove the waypoint from your minimap and map and pressing the green button on the status frame will replace the arrow for that current step. You can also open the large frame and press the green button on any step you want to place the waypoint for that step. There are more options on the waypoint arrow menu. One that I would recommend you use is the lock arrow feature and this will prevent this will prevent you from accidentally moving the arrow from its current position. If you wish to move it again, you need to unlock it first from the menu. Another feature that the arrow have is the arrow scale, which can adjust the size of your arrow. You can make it bigger or smaller. And you can also adjust the text scale to make it bigger or smaller if you find it hard to read. There are also a couple options in the settings menu that you should know. You can find the settings menu by right clicking on the status frame and selecting the settings tab. One cool option that you could use is to change the look of the arrow between classic and modern style. And from the settings menu you can also disable the and trail by unticking show and trail. The and trail feature is really useful when a step contains multiple waypoints. It helps to create a path so you will follow the waypoint at the right order. You can even modify the end trail by removing individual waypoints and then the end trail will redraw and create a new route with your modification. And to recover your waypoint, simply click on the green button on either the status frame or the large frame. The end trail itself is also pretty smart because if you reach a waypoint ahead of time, the end trail will detect it and remove all the unnecessary waypoint and to create a new path. Note that the description for the waypoint arrow is automatically generated. Like right now the description it says turn in, deliver the thread and in bracket it says Ab Abercrombie which is the name of the NPC that you're about to meet. Note that when you're within 5 yards of the current waypoint the arrow will point down and spin around to indicate that you have reached your destination and this is the area of interest. And we added a cool new feature in Doogie 5 which is the area highlight. Um, the area highlight works just like a waypoint except that it will highlight an area instead of a green dot. This is to help you notice that the objective is to be completed in an area rather than on a single waypoint. So you will see this type of waypoint often with um, complete objective where you have to kill an enemy in an area or where you have to collect item in an area. And we may even use it on a quest giver if the quest giver doesn't stand still. This way you will know to look for a quest giver in an area rather than on a single spot. And the last thing i like to mention in this video is Doogie Guides will work with Carbonite and TomTom. If you are using Carbonite, I highly recommend you use the built-in Carbonite arrow and you will need to tick the Use Carbonite arrow in our settings menu. And Doogie Guide will work perfectly with the Carbonite arrow and you can use it the same way you would use the Doogie Guides arrow. Because Carbonite have their own mapping system that is kind of foreign to other add-ons, I don't recommend that you use TomTom or Doogie Guides arrow with Carbonite. You might experience inaccuracy if you don't use the Carbonite arrow. Finally, if you like to use TomTom, you just have to make sure that you have the TomTom add-on loaded and then you tick the Use TomTom arrow and everything you should work perfectly. However, one thing I like to mention is that the new Waypoint Highlight feature won't work with TomTom. Um, this will only work with the Doogie Guides arrow. Alright, this is the end of our advanced Waypoint tutorial. This is Doogie and thank you for watching. What can I do for you? See you around.